Well, hello, and welcome back to Disgaea 2 Cursed Memories. Um, don't really remember what we did last time. Oh wait, no I do. It's coming back slowly. Painfully. We, um, s kicked the butt on the 10th floor of the Beatdown world or something like that. And, um, I did a little bit of running around off-screen, just looking around at things, and there are multiple chests laying around. Here's one. There is a mysterious button. I thought it was a chest, but it's a button. Let's push it. Sure. There's, it is a chest. 350 hell. Someone did tell me that there were buttons around. And to try and find them and press them all, which generally means, haha, go press the buttons and we'll laugh at you. Here's another one. Got some knuckles. So, basically, I just need to walk around and press A everywhere. The red moon, huh? Yeah, you look for that. They said that there were buttons around where I first found my, that, that very first chest. Huh. I don't remember where the very first chest I found was. I think it was back here, wasn't it? Oh, well, I don't know if I'll ever find this button, then. Um... So, there was also a chest around here, I think. I'm just going to spend a few minutes smashing the A button, see if I can find... Wait, button... Wasn't there a chest over here, too? Um, or was it back here? Hell if I know now. Maybe back here? There's a button. Push it. Okay. That's too... I don't remember a chest being back here. So I, I probably could run around and press all the buttons if I could just stumble across them. I can. There's a button. I have a bad feeling about this. And also something tells me that I'm not going to find all of these buttons. I don't know why I listen to advice from my comments. It never ends well. Ever. It's almost always a trap. What about here? Here are little buttons. If I were a button, would I be hiding back here? Probably. There's gotta be more buttons. They'll probably blow up the entire map. Let's see... It just really seems like there would be one there. Uh, once I do decide to get around to doing things, I'm going to be re-equipping re my healers, for starters. About here and giving them staffs, because I was finally given advice um, that staffs will increase their casting range. Yeah, see, there was a chest out here. There's no button out in the clover. I find that highly disappointing. What about back here? Here, button, button. Button, button. There was a chest up there, too, so... Surely there's a button around here? Hmm. What's this? This is a dimension gate. Dimension gate? It's a warp device that lets you travel to places throughout the world in an instant. Oh, that's a convenient thing. You can go anywhere as long as you know the place. Even the Overlord's castle. So... Why don't you guide me to Overlord Xenon already? Maybe I don't feel like it right now. You swine. Um, if you want to go somewhere else, talk to the Dimension Guide, okay. That's interesting, I didn't really know you could interact with that. So, someone might have to point me in the right direction for... Um, the rest of these buttons. So I really don't want to walk around pressing A for an entire video. Uh, yeah, I don't care about your furry body. There are people out there that would actually kill to be like you. Hey, was this guy up there before? I am one who travels the world to find out why demons continue to live. Oh, can I see that piece of map you have in your hands? Ho ho ho, this is... Hmm... It seems this is a map that leads to the legendary lands that have been talked about by warriors since ancient times. When you have collected all the pieces of this map, a journey to a new world will begin. Hmm. 
Who is that? Hawkeye, the collector, level 500. Interesting. Continue looking for buttons for a few minutes. This is gonna be... I might just make this the button video then. Hey, big guy, are you hiding any buttons back here? Button, button, button. I can't remember all the places I've already looked. One day I just looked like this. I don't know what's going on. Now I can fly. And that means I can poop on people from up above. God, I love being a demon. Is there anything up here? No. Okay, so this will not be the button video, because I'm already growing tired of this. Let me check this wall. Check this pot. Okay. Maybe more buttons will make themselves available as the story progresses. However... Actually, before I go anyplace else, yes, I want to enter the Dark Assembly. Rosalind, step up. I can reincarnate you or somebody. I want more expensive stuff. However, I think I need to go shopping. We're going to do some Dark Assembly stuff. Okay, laser rifle. Makes a seven different colors and sounds. The beatdown gloves. Watch it out, watch out, bro. I'm coming for you. I'm gonna tap dance on your face. Okay, emergency exit. Go away. You go away. Cell phones. Uh, meet with the wood golem party. So I could actually use these now, right? I could. Ghost party, wood golem party. No, we're gonna meet with the ghost party soon. I've been curious what those do. Treasure map, put that to the warehouse. Um, plump one, it's got a pulse gun. Laser rifle, there's a significant increase to hit power, or to hit rate. I don't know if it does more damage or not, because there's no way to really tell. However, we'll equip it. And... That's right, I want to stock up on lollipops and soda pops. Sody pops, by that, that, mint gum, garlic water, fairy dust. Basically just want to fill up my inventory. There we go. Question is, how full is it? Good lord. I can hold multiple things. This should be the last thing. This one? There we go, warehouse. Let's go see if we can bribe some senators for better items. Um, Rosalind... Uh, actually, who has the most? Zartine. I'm gonna reincarnate Zartine. Actually, let's reincarnate him now. This will reincarnate him and start him from level 1. However, I was advised to reincarnate him into another Skull Mage. That way he can cast multiple schools of magic. So, he's level 15. This will take him... Quite a low level, back to one. We can also make him average this time. Inheritance rate, 65%. No approval. Um, yeah, I, I guess I'll do it, because if I was waiting to get up to skilled, he would need a lot more mana. Nope, you're still going to be my Zartine. And I'm going to put all of your bonus into intelligence. There we go. Zartine has been reincarnated, yay! Good job, Jartine. Let's see. He lost all of his mana, unfortunately, but he should... Unless I was lied to here, I better not have been. Um, okay, he kept his weapon mastery, it's still at level 4. He's got fire, mega fire, and he can cast wind now. Yes! I don't know if that means he can still learn fire spells, but once we get him um, high enough to reincarnate again, we're going to reincarnate him into a, a blue skull. I'm just following your guys' advice for better or worse. And, let's see. We're going to try to get more expensive stuff. We have an approval rating of 72%. That is exceptionally high. You're asleep. Let's see. Either way, I was also told that bribing the high-level senators is the best, the better bet. Level 30, level 5, 
Strongly for. This guy loves us. Total support. Total support. Leaning, yes. What do you want? Come on, we gotta have something you want. Garlic water, take it. In favor of, yes. Loves us. Strongly for. We should, we should totally have this. Totally for. Either way, love. Strongly love. Strongly for. Let's bribe this... Senator Heckles, you bastard. Um, no. No, you're not getting my rare items. Come on. Slightly interested. There we go, hard candy. You're, you still want more? Cotton candy? Yam starch, take it. Strongly for, nice. This should pass easily. Um, begin to vote. Sip our tea. God damn it. Good. We had a few lazy people there, but whatever. You can't count on everyone all of the time. So, what can we buy? Playful Punch, Knight Swords, Katana. An attack of 55. Hmm. A Beck. Dograban, a shogun spear, steam gun. There's the laser rifle. That is a very good weapon, then. That's expensive. Heavy hammer, a witch's wand, a rune staff. Holy crap. Some crazy moon languages carved in it. Beautiful. Handy for casting spells and stirring pots. Um, interesting. I don't want to get more expensive items again, because most of this stuff is already close to being out of my range. Traveler's Mantle, Defenses of 36, um, man, I really need to do inventory here, this is apparently going to be an inventory video too, okay, how do I unequip something, okay, get rid of this, old cloth, get rid of, get rid of your tunic, I probably can't afford all of this, get rid of your tunic, your tunic. Everybody's gonna basically get a new tunic, except for the plump one. You've already got a leather jacket, you dirty frog. Get rid of that. Get rid of your tunic. Everybody strip naked! This is not a drill. This is serious dress-up time. Okay, China dress. That is... I, I can't buy too many of those. Jiro outfits. Travelers. Doubles as a blankie for quick naps. Jiro outfits. Let's see. Defense of 35. I think I'm gonna re-roll the items. I always press the backspace or the back jump, the back button, and end up jumping trying to close out that dialogue. Okay, this is more like it. China dresses, traveler mantles. So what would be good? That's got a resistance. This all has speeds of six. Okay. This could be for you. Light armor. I don't think that would be better. You can go to Rosalind. A defense of 53. Beautiful. I can go to Master Azra because he needs it. And you do not get a light shield. Because that shit is too expensive. I'm going to have to do a lot more grinding. I can tell. Round shield snow, traveler mantle, defense of 44, speed of 6. I want I want resistance or something in my traveler mantles too. 45 and 6. Come on. You guys have to have gotten a new shipment in. Traveler mantles are all sold out. Huh? 36 and 6, not really worth it. Should have bought those other ones whenever they were actually in. 36 and 6. Okay. Next Traveler Mantle that has more than 36 defense. That's got 9 speed. That's really nice. Um, actually, I'm gonna... No, he's already got one. Lanyure, you guys need staffs. Shatari, we can boost your speed up even higher. Jiro... It's got eight intelligence, okay. That can go to our healer. It's got four intelligence. Gotta min-max these stats as best I can. 
6 resistance. Come on, that's got 4 intelligence and a 6 speed. Who needs this? I guess that can be for Zartine. And I'm broke. So let's sell you. I'm not going to sell the beatdown gloves because we might actually go back into that world. Um, in fact, I'm probably going to have to. Oh, man. Let's sell this crappy gum. Tunic. All this cloth can get out of here. Hard candy is good. Cotton candy is good. The soda, though. Get out of my inventory. That gave us a little bit of money, but not enough. Okay, I need supplies. Apparently, we're going to have to go into the item world. Cotton candy. Taiyaki barbecue sauce. Yeah, the, the downside of getting more expensive stuff is that you can buy less of it. Because it is all so expensive. Okay. Hard candy is still pretty good. Cotton candy, we'll buy that. I don't want barbecue sauce. Oh, where's my garlic water? Please order us some delicious garlic water. Used is a torture method in hell. Yam starch. Barbecue sauce. Slather it over your ribs. Um, I'll buy that. And the yam starch, I might as well. More cotton candy. I wonder what the plunder hand... If it has a... Standard pickpocket gear. I wonder if it has a higher success rate. I'll buy it. And we're about ready to rank up. Do I need to heal anyone? Oh, I hope not. No, okay. I was kind of worried there. Let me go ahead and save it here. Because we are going to go on an adventure. Don't really know what I had planned to do. But we're going to go to the next um, story bit here. Murderer's Vault. The Poisonous Swamp. Before going into an item world again. I want to see what we have going on in the story. Excusez-moi, Monsieur Adele. Your mother was once a human, but she is a powerful summoner, no? Indeed. She surprised me as well. I never knew that humans could become such great summoners. I, I think it was just luck, to be honest. Well, I heard that she was a pretty famous summoner when she was young. Okay, maybe she actually is talented. She doesn't really talk about it. But according to the townspeople, she used to get requests from nobles and royalty. Hmm. Did she learn how to summon all by herself? No. She said a friend taught her a long time ago. But she doesn't remember much since Zenon's cursed our world. I see. You must be very proud of her. But to be able to teach someone else skills to that extent, that friend must have been a great summoner. Ah. Oh no. Monsters. That hopefully will not pose me any threat. Let's see, level 6. Yeah, we'll be able to easily deal with them. We have ally damage 20% and encroach. I found out that encroach means that these tiles will actually spread each turn. So, I'm not going to bother to destroy them, but I do want to end this fight as quickly as possible. Adele, everyone's pretty much going to go off and do their own thing here. Uh, height problem. Obstructed Crimson Flame. Might as well see what that looks like. Rosalyn. Get you into a position to where you can attack somebody. Hmm. She's got more movement than I thought. Than I'm used to. Triburst on... What's his name? Visago. Th thought it was like Viagra or something for a minute. I'm seeing things. Azra. How are you doing? Impaler, Lightning Spear, perfect. Jartine, I really need to get you some experience. Let's see, Wind. Might as well cast... No, he's got 50% Wind Resistance. This guy has 50% Wind Resistance too. Oh well. Cast on one of them. Alanyra. Move you over here, you guys can just... Kind of group up. Oh, I didn't get them staffs, that's right. I knew I was forgetting something. Damn it, staffs are all I cared about getting so my healers have better range. That's obstructed, obstructed. Does he have anything to steal? Let's see, plunder hand. 
No, because he's... I can steal his Gusto. Someone told me that Gusto, like these stats that you can steal, are permanent status bu buffs. We're going to try it. And we missed, of course. 50% with the random number generator might as well be 0%. You can defend Talvara. Let's see. Raiden Missile. Are there any of these we haven't seen? We'll use Raiden Missile on this guy. The plump one. We need you not to die. So go here. You can hide behind the ladies. Use your laser gun on him. And the oh, dirty tink. The dirty stinky tink frog. Everybody's ganging up on this guy. Attack expired. Crimson Flame! Wait, don't kill him yet. Let the plump one get that. Good job, Azra. Oh, dang it. Plump one's gonna have to go find a new target. Or he can go for the chest. Which will not be as good experience wise, but whatever. He's got 55 hit points. You better use a triple burst on it. And we'll end the turn here. That didn't look like a laser gun. Cool, he got some experience. I don't know if it was... <laughs> the other zombies don't even care what's going on. That was almost enough experience to level him up, so... 108. Um, I want to see if he can use... Triburst. No, what about Gaia Blast? Yes. I gotta see if this will kill him. Only 67? Come on. You gotta finish the job. I'll leave him to finish that one next time. Because, again, I want him to level up a little bit. He's gonna be, hopefully, one of the main characters in the group. I don't know how many people I'll end up switching out eventually. Azra, you just strike down Dogma. Adele, can you get back from there? Yeah. Crouch. See, I don't think anything would happen if I went and destroyed that Geotile. So I'm not even gonna mess with it. You just defend... The lunatic. I don't know if you have a wrench attack for this. Hurricane Slash! Blade Rush! She's gonna end up over there and get herself stuck, but whatever. It works for me. She'll be able to watch how the round plays out from over there on her little personal island. Or not. I forgot that she was gonna jump back. Very nice. Okay, let's just end this. Yeah, all of my grinding that I've been doing, I don't, I don't even want to call it grinding. Grinding is such a derogatory term. Um, I've been doing exploring. Here, you're level 12, 13, 15, I guess you do need a level. Kill him. And Adele, this one is, unfortunately, all up to you. Obstructed, abducted, abducted. Okay, kill him. And that should finish it off. And I guess one more Gaia burst from you will finish him off. Rest in peace again, zombie scum. Sploosh. Good, he leveled up. Mm, now, who should get this kill? Unless Adele counter kills him, man. No. Okay, he's got 16. Your Adele needs a level. He's only level 11. It's because he got destroyed in the last item world, that's right. A little bit of experience for everyone. Trumpet. Some hell for our pockets. Well, this isn't the best place to do this, but we gotta eat sometime. Hanako made us some rice balls to eat. Do you want some? Ignorant brute! Inviting a lady to eat in a place like this is simply inappropriate. Let her start. Any manners? She is right, Monsieur Adele. Do you expect a princess to dine in such a pigsty? So what? You're not gonna eat? I shall try some. That's what I thought. Princess, you are going to eat? We mustn't let Hanako's food go to waste. Besides, I'm hungry. All right. Here you go. 
And it wasn't a date. It's not like he was asking you out on a date into the swamp. Hmm. So this is a rice ball. I have never eaten food of this kind before. Psst, Tink. Yes, Princess? I must warn you, I am not going to share my rice ball with you. That isn't what I was going to ask you. Are you certain I can leave all the planning to you? Princess, your doubt is like an arrow through my heart. Do you not trust Tink? Honestly, I do not trust you at all. You did not even stop to think about it. Eh, very well, let me explain. These swamps are famous for being quite dangerous. You see, there are unique monsters around here. I like the sound of that. Some of the older ones are said to be well over level 100. They are thought to come from UFOs. My excitement has just been diminished. So, I suggest we get this monster to eat Adele. Instead of fighting, we can run away! I see. You are evil. Au contraire. I am not as evil as you. <laughs> All who oppose my father must die. Yes, yes. He desires to fight, so his fate is already sealed. But if that happens, how will Taro and Hanako feel? No! I don't want Rosalind to suddenly start getting emotions. Damn it, no! She needs to remain the evil bitch that she's always been. Not care about those retarded little kids back in the village. Damn them. Damn them in their rice balls. Okay, let's go back real quick. I have enough hell. First, let's heal everyone. So I don't have to do any grinding for that. Only 216. How am I ever going to earn prizes at that rate? It's criminal. And I don't have enough to buy anything. I could buy light armor if I wanted to waste my money. What about... What's the cheapest staffs that you've got? Bone, pixie... Okay. So, Alonura... I think Alonura for now will remain my archer healer. In fact, I might turn her into my frontline, like, tank warrior healer later on. And Talvara, you can get rid of your longbow and take this pixie wand. There we go. Let's sell this and this and... I want to check out one thing here. Who knows what's going to happen? Anything could... Combine all residents with the same job. So let's see. Beat down. I don't know how this works. Let me try. Cannot combine. Oh, so if they have... Okay. I kind of get that now. Tutor. Um, physicians. Ooh. That'd be 100 hit points. Matt, brokers? Wow. Level 30 broker? I don't know what brokers do. It's gotta be something good. Maybe get us more gold. Marksman coach. Physicians. Okay. I don't... I think those do something like health, maybe? Um, so, what about transferring residents, then? See, the beatdown gloves already have marksmen. What if I was to move... To this one. Oh, you have to tame them first before you can move them. Okay. This is another mechanic that I haven't really messed around with, but I certainly should. So, I think we'll end the video here. And whenever we come back, I'll probably advance the story a little bit more. And then we're going to go back into the item world for something. And possibly work on taming some of the residents to move them into better items. Like, for instance, I'm going to lavish some attention on the plump one here, of course, and um, try to get some better residents for his laser rifle. Some um, marksman, perhaps, that will increase his damage or something like that, his accuracy or range. I don't know how it works, but you're going to be screwing around with residents in the future.